my next point is code review what is code review code review it is extremely cost effective strategy for eliminating coding errors and for providing the high quality code okay this code review is undertaken after the module successfully compiled so for a module is carried out after the module is successfully compiled and the all the syntax errors have been eliminated then and then only code review gets started this code review makes sure that the coding standards are followed or not basically we can say that the reason behind code review why there is a need of code review so code review is actually the cost effective strategy to eliminate the errors from the code as compared to testing or we can say that the testing only helps to detect the failures and significant errors need to be spent in debugging to locate the error so what these statements say that so this statement say that to eliminating an error from the code it actually involves the three basic main activities the testing debugging and then correcting the errors means what in testing it is carried out to detect if the system fails to work satisfactorily for certain type of inputs and under certain circumstances in testing we say that the system is working properly or not once the failure is detected the debugging is carried out the debugging is used to locate the error that is causing the failure and finally the error correction is carried out to fix the bug from these three activities the debugging requires or the debugging is possibly the time consuming activity so by using the code review technique we can eliminate we can reduce this time and we can uh, eliminate the errors before testing so basically uh, we can say that in short it actually makes sure that the coding standards are followed or not it also helps to detect as many errors as possible before testing so these reviews are passed on from the group of engineers after coding any module and it performs into two types so the code review are performs into two types the first one is the code walk through and the second one is code inspection so first what is code walk through the code walk through is an informal code analysis techniques means what it is done by a few member of development team in which a module is taken up for review after the mo code module has been coded and successfully compiled and all the syntax errors have been eliminated it is done by the few members of the development team are given the code means what those development team are given the code the team select some test cases and simulate the execution of the code by hand using these test cases means what what is the process of code walk through it is a informal technique informal code analysis technique to analyze the code actually it is done by the few members of the development team okay those who are in development team they perform this task how they perform they given a code this development uh, team members the few members given the code the team select some test cases they select the test cases and on that test cases uh, they simulate the code the execution of the code by hand using this test cases so we can say that the objective of the code walk through is to discover the algorithm and logical errors in the code means what after successfully completing the code walk through we get the error stream module some of the guidelines should be follow uh, should be consider when code walk through is implemented okay basically the objective is it discover the algorithmic and logical errors in the code okay so then uh, we while doing a code walk through process uh, while uh, doing using this technique code review by using a type code walk through we have to follow some guidelines or we have to consider some guidelines uh, while implementing this code walk through so the first guideline is 
द टीम परफॉर्म द कोड वॉक थ्रू शुल नॉट बी आई दर टू बिग और टू स्मॉल आइडली इट शुल बी कंसिस्ट ऑफ बिटवीन थ्री टू सेवन मेम्बर्स द टीम मेम्बर्स द फ्यू टीम मेम्बर्स द काउंट फॉर दोज फ्यू टीम फ्यू टीम मेम्बर्स शुल बी थ्री टू सेवन मेम्बर्स इट शुल नॉट बी आई दर टू बिग और टू स्मॉल द सेकेंड वन इज द डिस्कशन शुड फोकस ऑन डिस्कवरी ऑफ द एरर्स ओके This discussion between the few members should be focused on the discovery of the errors. What can be the errors, or what are the errors in a code? And they should avoid thinking on how to fix the discover of errors. They should not think on uh, how to uh, how to fix those uh, errors. Uh, they just have to find out. They just have to focus on errors. What kind of errors are there in a code? The third one is in order to. Third one is the feeling among the engineers that they are being evaluated in a code walkthrough meeting. The manager should not attend the walkthrough meeting. The third guideline is the manager should not attend this meetings walk walkthrough meetings. Okay. so this is about the code walk through it is a informal code analysis techniques it is done by few members we are providing a code uh, given code uh, we are providing a code to those few members they select some test cases they simulate the execution on the code by hand using those test cases so the objective is to discover the algorithmic error and logical errors there are three guidelines we have to follow while implementing the code walk through meetings the first guideline is the team with the team who performing the code walk through should not be too big or too small it should consist only 3 to 7 members the second one is the discussion is focus on the discovery of the errors and the third one is the manager should not attend the walk through meetings the second type is code inspection so the aim of the code inspection is to discover some common type of errors caused due to programmer oversights and improper programming i oh, hope you get it means what the code software development companies collect oh, what is actually the code inspection i'll tell you the principle the basic principle or the aim of the code inspection is to check for the presence of some common type of errors the common type of errors which are uh, usually caused due to programmer oversights and to check whether the coding standards have been uh, they uh, stick to the coding standards or not means what this inspection is done on the core and they just go through the common type of errors which are caused by program while the programmer is coding a module they have they may uh, they may create or they may uh, produce some common type of errors okay so here in code inspection we have to go through those common type of errors i'll tell you what are the common type of errors we are uh, ins- uh, do the inspection in this uh, type i'll tell you later okay so first the good software development companies how they what is the procedure of this code inspection the good software development companies collect the statistics of the errors committed by their engineers okay and then they identify the type of errors most frequently committed the list of the common errors can be used during the code inspection to look out for possible errors means what the software companies the co- software companies have some statistics of errors committed by their engineers the common type of errors they have a list of common type of errors then they identify the code the type of error uh, which is frequently committed and then the list of the common errors are used during the code inspection while they are doing the code inspection they check the list and they check the code and they find those common type of errors are occurred in the code or not okay so in addition to commonly made errors uh, it also stick to uh, they also check that the programmer is stick to the coding standards or not okay the adherence to the coding standard is checked in this code inspection type 
okay so i'll tell you some common type of errors are caused during some common type of errors checked during the code inspection are for example the use of uninitialized variable by using one variable but we are not initialized is then it creates an error the next one is jumps into loops non terminating loops incompatible assignments now incompatible assignments means what each and every data type has their own compatibility and when we assigning any different or larger value then its compatibility then its compatibility then the this error occurs for example if you are declaring the int data type and you are assigning a float value to that data type then it creates an error that incompatibility assignments so this is the one type of error the another type of error is array indices out of bound the improper storage allocation and deallocation the mismatch between the actual and formal parameters the improper modification of the loop variables the comparison of the quality of the floating point values etc these are some common type of errors are checked during the code inspection thank you